I can't believe that happened. I, I can't believe what I'm watching. It's like well, it's a bizarro world. This is a weird matchup. The team that has the shiny record, the more wins than losses team, the Cleveland Browns, got trounced last week. Uh, obviously very disappointed. Uh, didn't play how we set out to play. Bobble on that one, and a reverse, and a bobble. The ball is loose. Down ball he out. goes. The ball is out. We have to learn from it, and then we got to uh, you know, play a lot better, coach a lot better next week. Their opponent, the LA Rams, more losses than double. Use, oh, oh, oh. but they did the trouncing week 12. He ripped it down the right sideline. It's a house call, and the offense erupts in the deserts. Rams are a game away from 500. Getting to even Steven would bring hope. That's big. I mean, at this point of the year, it doesn't matter how you get it done. You know, you want to come out here and play the way we did today every single week. And from LA's perspective, they have plenty of reason to believe they can get there. I do think there is something to be able to you know, say about learning how to win, and that's by feeling what these things feel like. LA's defense faces a Cleveland passing attack that averaged 4.5 yards per attempt last week. Let's go, fellas. Let's get home. That's so low, they'd almost have been better off handing off all game. Your run game really got going. Like, just stick with it. A sub-70 rating, under 200 yards passing. I gotta think they stick to that ground game. No need to get cute and throw it here. Oh, buddy. That was with Dorian Thompson-Robinson at quarterback. He's started three games now. And when you have guys open, as DTR did there, you've got to make those throws. Hasn't once looked like an average NFL quarterback. He doesn't lack for confidence. I mean, that's one of the things you, you like about Dorian. Threw it wide of Jerome Ford and can't miss those throws. Always things that you know, he can clean up as well as a young player. The Thompson Robinson Browns offense has put up 13 and 12 points in the last two weeks. Snap is going to throw right side corner of the end zone incomplete. Somebody ran the wrong route. Cleveland's passing attack now facing a Rams defense that just took care of the likes of Kyler Murray. Murray has to get rid of it. What a hit. Nothing really to say other than we you know we got we got beat. Held him to 5.7 yards per attempt, a low 80s rate, and on the year they've held quarterbacks to a mid 80s rating. That's good pass defense overall. He throws right side. It is batted away, incomplete. Jordan Fuller on fourth down wow. with a takeover on downs. Rams pass rush, four sack outing versus Arizona. Pressure up the middle, and Kobe's got him again. A double dip for the conductor. DTR was knocked out of last week's game. Took a shot there, uh, unfortunately, and, and uh, you never want to see your quarterback get hit like that. Cleveland sent P.J. Walker back in. He proceeded to get sacked four times. And a pressure in the end zone and a sack. The safety. Browns have to get a handle on their turnover issues, too. Three fumbles lost last week. The offense put the defense in some tough spots with, with some of uh, those turnovers. No team has given it away as often in 2023. We, just, we can't put the ball on the ground. So Joe Flacco or go Akron pros, just hand off all game. Brownies, Jerome Ford, nine carries, 65 yards, 7.2 a run. His long was 19, so it wasn't just one great run either. Hands it off, Jerome Ford coming left side, has running room. And run out of bounds at the 42 yard line. Best offensive play so far today. And the Rams gave up 4.5 a carry to James Conner last week. Conner waiting for blocks. And James Conner working down inside the five-yard line. It's the one paper advantage Cleveland's offense owns over LA's defense. But Cleveland's defense owns a major paper advantage over LA's offense if you go by their 2023 bodies of work. Football is knocked out. Yeah. Yeah. football. And Cleveland hits it with Gary. Browns lost 29 to 12 last week, yet held the opposition's star player, the quarterback, Russell Wilson, to 134 yards passing, 6.1 yards per attempt. Wilson, backside pressure, steps away, hit as he throws, it's a wobbler into space and it's incomplete. Cleveland's elite secondary now going up against an LA passing attack and offense that hasn't been great overall in 2023. Give yourself some grace. However, Matthew Stafford looked pretty great versus Arizona, at least. I think we're doing a decent job. You know, I think, uh, like I said, I mean, we're not exactly where we want to be. Four touchdowns, a 121.1 rate. Stafford floats one. Higby into the end zone, and yes. Stafford was super efficient, and no shock, his performance was aided by a zero-sack day. Stafford with time and going deep and hauled in inside the 40 by Atwell. LA needs their O-line to show out in like manner this week, being they face Miles Garrett, in theory at least. They can't handle us right now. Yeah, they can't handle us.
Garrett didn't bag any quarterbacks last week. He left the game with his arm in a sling. If he plays, just know this. Garrett hasn't gone two games in a row in 2023 without making it home to see Mom. In the pocket. Get it, Chase, and they got him! Miles Garrett got him! Quirky thing about Stafford's nice outing versus Arizona, he didn't even use Cooper and Akua all that much. Puka Cooper only went for 45 yards combined. His touchdowns went to tight end Tyler Higby. He brought in two. Stafford... Throws, catch made, touchdown, Tyler Higby! And so did running back Kyron Williams. When I caught the ball, and I seen nothing but green grass and Steve Avila in front of me. It is a screen to Kyron Williams. Kyron Williams gets a block, he's in the end zone, and that's a wrap touchdown! I almost had a smile on my face before I even caught the ball. Running backs and wide receivers have had little success versus Cleveland's defense. Tight ends, a 90 rate allowed, so it's a small opening. The Browns' soft spot on D, running backs giving up 4.5 a carry to the position after last week. Obviously, we feel like we can play better on defense, uh, really starting with that run game. Only six teams have given up more to backs. It's P. Ryan again. Look at that opening. P. Ryan breaking tackles inside the 10. LA's run game vital to their blowout win over Arizona. 228 yards rushing. That's ridiculous. 6.9 yards per carry. Cartman fat. The offensive line was outstanding, being able to be you know, really productive in both phases, both the run and the pass. Tyron Williams adding to his rush total, and there he goes! Williams! All the way down to the 22-yard line of Arizona. Royce Freeman, 77 yards, almost six per run and a touchdown. Freeman has some room inside the 20. Royce Freeman! He's gonna have a wrap touchdown! Williams on his return, 143 yards, almost nine yards per run. Four weeks and not being able to, you know, do what you do best, you know, it feels good to be back in. Stafford wants to throw, floats it, touchdown Rams! Kyron Williams! He's got another one. I can promise you the team with Cleveland roots wins this game. This is a matchup between OG Cleveland and New Era Cleveland. Only the OGs get it. You'll find the explanation in the comments section along with predictions and expert analysis, I'm sure. I don't provide that, but I do provide some predictions at the end here.